Hey everybody. You know, today in our gospel, we have this curious scene what makes Jesus look unfeeling and insensitive toward this woman. They're in this district of Tyre and this woman comes and, and, and longing for Jesus to do something for her. He, she, she says that her daughter is tormented by a demon and Jesus seems to ignore her. The, he, he wants his, the disciples um, have, like, want to have him, her sent away, but she won't. Um, you know, she won't go away. He says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then when she does finally persist and comes to him, he says, it's not right to give the, uh, the food from the children and throw it to the dogs. But this woman responds with seemingly great faith or desperation and says, like, even the dogs eat the scraps from the table. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk and, 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 un, and just and writings about what Jesus was getting at here and, and probably things that are, are far beyond me. But, but one thing I think that is true about our relationships with God that we might not always see is that there's at times he stretches us. He tries to stretch us and he, he longs for us to keep growing. And sometimes it feels like a slight to us. But really what it is, is is God just saying, you can, I know your heart, I know what you can handle, and I'm calling you to something greater. I'm calling you to deeper faith like he does to, for this woman. By, by doing this today, I, I mean, I don't recommend someone do what Jesus does. I recommend, you know, I, I'm, on this instance, usually yes. <laughs> but, but he calls her then to something, to, to deeper faith, to persistent faith. She, her desperation grows for, for God. And what it says in the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah is true too, that you know, God says that he is, going to, uh, he is going to restore the house of Israel. And throughout this, this prophet's uh, writing so far, it's like you know, Jerusalem is, is going um, to be a heap of ruins, like there's only bad things happening. But now he, God's saying, no, this is always, the, the, his work is also that of purification. And sometimes that purification happens in our own hearts when we feel slighted, when we feel like God maybe is, is, is punishing us. I don't believe that God punishes us, but I think that he allows things that might seem like a suffering at the moment to, to pass so that we might grow, but we might grow more in dependence on him. So today let's ask the Lord to help us to reframe those things in our lives that might seem like, like terrible things, and they might be, but that we might see them as opportunities for us to grow closer to him and dependence on him, to trust only in him, so that we too might hear him say to us, take courage, your faith has saved you.